welcome back to my channel. I am the Honey Bat, if this is your first time finding me. I have never opened McDonald's Happy Meal toys on this channel before, but these are celebrating 40 years of Happy Meals, and they're in blind bags, so I just couldn't resist. Here I have a full set and their numbers, so if you're looking for a specific one, just remember the number on the package. And just to put it out there, I am 100% not sponsored or supported in any kind of way by McDonald's. I just really like the toys. So without further ado, we are going to start right here with surprise toy number one. This is from the year of 1987. To keep this video as simple as possible, I am going to go in numerical order so you guys can see. It's going to tell you the toy number right here and also the year that it was released. So this is 1987. They do not have easy tear strips. So we're going to be using our snippers today. And the first toy that we're going to find is a little hamburger. So it looks like it's actually going to move. Here's the burger up close. We have a burger patty and then two little pickles there. And he opens up just like this. And then if we flip these backwards, he has two little hands. He reminds me a lot of the bot bots that I've been opening on the channel. I absolutely love that toy line. And it's nice to know that they've kind of been around for a really long time. And then whenever we're all done with him in that mode, we're gonna fold him back together. And now we have a cute little McDonald's hamburger. This is going to be surprise Happy Meal toy number two from 1988. And we found one of the Nugget Buddies and he has this little hat. The little McDonald's bandana does move, but it does not appear to be removable. It's stuck in the back there, as you guys can see. He has on a little mustache. And of course his hat. And now he's a little cowboy McNugget. Is that backwards? Nope, I think I had it right the first time. I believe there are three Nugget Buddies to collect in this series, and so this is the cowboy one. I do apologize for the glare on these bags. I, they're very, very bright white, and so my lights pick them up very easily. We are on to toy number three. This is also from 1988. And we have another Nugget Buddy! So this one's going to have a different hat with some hair on it. And we have a little postal man to go with our cowboy. Unlike the last Nugget Buddy, this one actually comes off pretty easily and has a little notch there in the back and little hole. So I'm wondering if mine is just a little stuck or if the other one comes off as well. But it does click back on fairly easily, making them interchangeable. We have toy number four from the same year, so my guess is that this one was going to be another Nugget Buddy as well, and it is. We have a little Firefighter Nugget Buddy. Here's this little fireman's hat with a little McDonald's M on the top. To be honest, this hat does not stay on as well as the other ones, but it does stand together nicely, and the little belt is again removable. So I went back to our cowboy nugget and the bandana is in fact removable as well. This one just seemed to have a little bit of a bigger peg and so it didn't move as easily. So here are all the pieces from the Nugget Buddies all together. They are interchangeable. You can mix and match them as you like. This little red mark on that nugget is actually from my nail polish. It is not a defect. That's not their fault. And I would actually love like 10 or 15 different professions to play with because I really like this one. We are already on toy number five. This one is from 1990. And I have already cut the bags to make this a little bit faster. We have a little Happy Meal with the original handle, which I actually really liked the bigger M's because it was easier to hold whenever you have big hands like I do. So it looks like it's just a Happy Meal, but then we turn it on its side and we can turn it into either a dinosaur or a dragon. I think it's supposed to be a dinosaur, but he looks like he's sitting down and I think it goes really nicely with the little hamburger that was our first toy. And now we have a little Happy Meal box for our dolls and or action figures. This is toy number six, also from 1990. And this one is Grimace, so he is one of the McDonald's mascots. I think we're gonna see my favorite mascot a little bit later in the video. His feet and arms move. And he is just a really cool little action figure kind of guy. He doesn't have any secret compartments, but the nostalgia is real. 
on to toy number seven. This one is from 1995, so I was three whenever this toy came out. But it is a character that I remember fondly. This is, of course, the Hamburglar. We had several of his toys growing up. He does not appear to move at all. He is a one-piece figure, but he does have all the details as the original. His little hat, I forget what kind of hat those are called. And he has on his little cape there in the back. And I'm not really sure why he was my favorite. I think I just like saying Hamburglar as a kid instead of hamburger. We didn't get McDonald's very much growing up, but when we did, I would ask for a Hamburglar or, of course, chicken nuggets. <laughs> Toy number eight is from 1993. This is the year after I was born, but we actually had this exact car. Again, we didn't really get McDonald's a whole lot growing up. It was a special treat, usually for someone's birthday. But I do like now that they have a lot more healthy options than they did when I was growing up because it was just chicken nuggets, hamburgers, and french fries, and now at least they have apples and gogurts and stuff like that. So I do like all the changes that they've made, but I really do like seeing some of the classic toys. This is your pretty standard car toy. It rolls really smoothly and has the same details. And the number 27 on top. This would be where I would show you toy number nine, but there's a twist, there is no toy number nine. I called the McDonald's corporate line and they said that they pulled toy number nine after everything was printed. So we actually have a number 18 but there is no number nine, so there are still only 17 toys to collect. Don't worry if you can't find number nine, that's because they weren't released. And I also painted my nails in McDonald's colors. I'm not sponsored, of course, but I thought it would be a fun little thing to add. And since I didn't have toy number nine to show you, I figured I would show you these instead. We're at toy number 10. This is from 1996. And while I did not have this toy, I love the movie that it's from. Any of my Space Jam fans, please leave a comment down in the comments below. To this day, it is still one of our favorite movies to rewatch here in the Honey Bat House. This is one of those train things where you actually move the little wheel on the bottom and Bugs Bunny spins around with the basketball as he slam dunks it. Toy number 11 is from 1996 and without opening it, it is going to be the only squishy toy in this whole collection. This is of course Patty the Platypus. She's a teeny beeny baby. And she's just really cute like all of the teeny beeny babies are. You guys can see the name here on the tag and here on the tag in the back as well. So it's just a really cute stuffed animal. Definitely a classic from McDonald's. Toy number 12 is from 1998. And I think all of the My Little Pony fans are going to appreciate this one. I believe this is one of the My Little Pony's first designs. The cutie marks were much, much bigger. And if this is not a My Little Pony, I really do apologize because I don't personally remember this one. But here we go, we're gonna take the little plastic bit off. We can see that we have the rainbow tail here in the back. Actually, it's not technically rainbow, but it is multicolor. So we have pink, yellow, orange, and purple in there. And the same colors mimicked up here in the mane. The little cutie mark is the little double hearts inside of the heart with another little heart at the bottom. I do not know this little pony's name. It's not on the pony anywhere or on the packaging. So if you know, please leave that down in the comments below for other viewers. The head looks like it moves, but if it does, it is very, very stiff. And I'm afraid I'm gonna snap its head off and that would not make for a good YouTube video. Toy number 13 is also from 1998. And it is, of course, the classic Furby. I'm going to be completely honest, Furbies freak me out. I don't like them, I never have. I think they remind me of gremlins. Um, but yeah, Furbies, sock monkeys, and those little pets that whenever you walk past them in the grocery store, they make noise. Yeah, I, I never liked those, they always freaked me out. Nothing has changed, although I do appreciate the nostalgia of this toy. Whenever you turn the little wheel on the bottom, his ears move, and so do his feet. Um, but that's enough Furby for me, so we're going to move on to the next toy. And the next toy is Toy 14 from 1995. It is the classic red Power Ranger. I know all of the 90s kids remember the Power Rangers, and even kids nowadays, they've remained popular over the years. So this is kind of an odd figure because this arm moves. It's a little bit stiff, though. This arm looks like it could move, but doesn't. This leg moves. And this one does not. So it is a two limb moving figure, which is kind of unusual, but I'm guessing that that was pretty normal for 1995. Nowadays, of course, both legs and both arms would move. 
So there is our little red Power Ranger who is slightly too tall for the frame. Toy number 15 is from 2013, and I think this is going to be the most recent of all of the toys that we've seen. This is everyone's favorite little kitty. This is, of course, Hello Kitty. So she has this little book in her hands that says Hello Kitty on the front with the little bow on the back. Her arms move up and down. She's wearing glasses, and I really love this blue color that she's wearing. This little button on the back causes her head to turn and her arms to raise as though she's reading her book. This one's modeled after the 2013 models, but they're still very similar to the line that they just finished with, where you could collect the eight Hello Kitties and Halloween costumes. So I think she is going to fit right in with those. Toy number 16 is from 1998. You can actually see it through the plastic. This was the one that I was most excited to see because I actually had a couple of Tamagotchis when I was growing up. They were not this version though. Mine had a little egg that opened and then there was the actual little one inside and so it was in like a little protective carrying case which was very nice. I don't think that they sell them like that anymore but I really wish that they did. It comes with the same clip so that you can put it on your backpack or your belt loop. And it has this little switch that turns everything on and off in the back. And this one actually lights up whenever you push the button, which is very similar to the ones you got from McDonald's in the 90s. You guys can see it makes our little snake pet there light up. I have very fond memories of having to start over every day with my Tamagotchi because unfortunately I was not a very good Tamagotchi mom. <laughs> Whoops. But I do love the nostalgia of all of these toys. This one was definitely one of my favorites. We are almost finished. This is toy number 17, but don't forget we actually have a toy 18 to open because number nine was missing. It's from 2002 and this is a USA exclusive and it is actually Mickey Mouse as the Sorcerer. I believe that this one is an exclusive because it's signifying how close Disney and McDonald's have been over the years and still are. Um, sneak peek if you didn't already know, the next toys available at McDonald's are going to be from Frozen 2 and I'm super excited to see the movie and collect those toys as well. So he is a standalone figure. We actually had a few of these kind of like on a base figures growing up, but I don't think we ever had this particular Mickey Mouse. This one is labeled as Toy 18. It is from 1996, and I believe that this is the other USA exclusive. This one is from 101 Dalmatians, or perhaps 102 Dalmatians, I'm not sure the original release. So he doesn't appear to move, he is a character car. These were very, very popular in the 90s, and of course the 2000s as well. I used to like the ones that like you flip over and there was a second character. I don't know what those are called, and I don't know if they make them anymore, but if you've never seen those, they are a lot of fun to play with. It's my favorite time of the video where you guys get to tell me your favorite thing that we opened today. There was a lot to unpack in this video. While you're down there, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps more people find my channel just like you did. For my favorite today, I'm going to be honest, this is one of the toughest choices I've made for any of the videos that I've done. I think I'm going to go ahead and say the Nugget Buddies just because they're interchangeable and you can change their looks around. But if I had to go with like which one I remember the most as a kid, I definitely remember the little car and the Tamagotchis the most. And if we're just gonna do my favorite character overall, well then of course the Hamburglar is going to win even though he's a toy that doesn't move. He means a lot to me. So whatever category, however you wanna pick your favorites is okay with me. I will see you guys next time here on the Honeybat Toy Channel. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye for now.